Jets. We made our way here to St. Francis. This morning would have been great. The guys have already landed some diamonds here. He actually got pulled properly now, flat, looked like a shark. I think he got bitten off by the looks of it. So it could have been a bronzy because um, it took off with the speed. Don't think it was a raggy. So yeah, we're going to get a bait out as quick as possible. I'm uh, <laughs> in two minds if I'm going to fish steel or not. Might fish a bite trace, but I actually don't want to, to be honest. But we'll see. And then uh, just have a throw for the, for the diamonds that's around. And uh, okay, I'll put a bite trace. Like an onion, layer. Come on, boy, when I see you wobble with a big bronzy, I'll catch the diamonds. Come on. Okay, guys, so we are uh, here in St. Francis. Uh, we saw a couple of diamonds come out. Uh, guy lost one, looked like a bronzy. Uh, there's a nice patch at the back that we. If you can reach that, I'm pretty sure you'll be on in five minutes. So let's see, get the bait in the water. picked up my bait. As you can see it's just swimming in. So just waiting for it to eat. And then, yeah. And they're done. So with a circle look, you need to wait for that that proper proper flat pull flat down where he pulls you flat and all you need to do is just lean back into it so I'm fishing quite heavy so I'm gonna definitely put as much pressure on as I can to get the fishing quick Unfortunately, let's get out another bite. Thank you. 
actually, I kid you not, two bullets in his ear. That diamond was close to dead, that's why I chowed that bait. <laughs> Must be. are getting pool for pool and landing diamonds and squatties and they lost a bronzy then you know you're <laughs> doing something wrong so we had to go get bait and um, see if that makes a difference and Paula hasn't put a fresh bait yet but this, this came in I don't know if it can still smell the old bait on my hook because it dropped me now <laughs> That thing was still green when we got it onto the beach, so it swam off shore. So we're gonna get out another bait now and see if we can get a, a diamond. So yeah, stay tuned. Okay, this is the bait. The previous one, uh, I wrapped my trace up. That's why I didn't pull me flat. So let's try. Let's see.
hoping for a smoothie there, but it feels like another small diamond. It was quiet now. I think uh, something bigger swam past and uh, made the fish a bit nervous. Because for about, this was now about 20 minutes, no bite. But it shows you everything was in the bait. We couldn't buy a bite. So I jumped in the car and went to get some local mackerel and then we started getting some bites. The hook obviously slipped or something, but it's hooked in the wing. It was lying on my bait and then took off. And it managed to get him in the wing. So that's why this one's fighting and shaking so, so nicely. The head, head shakes. There you go, he's right there. Okay guys, uh, nice diamond for this area, this part of the world. Um, the butterfly, <laughs> a lot of that in the media lately, but uh, nice big butterfly ray for Cape St. Francis, George Avenue. Let's get him back, he's just splashing sand. Okay, now that was good fun on the 30 pound, and when you hook it in the wing, very nice and strong here, last couple of pulls and runs. But yeah, that ended the day now, I think. You see that beautiful sun, sunset. But guys, thank you for watching. We're loving it here in the Eastern Cape in Jeffries. We haven't had great weather, but uh, it's, it's turned a bit for us. He's got the diamonds and the smooth arms here today. Thank you for watching our channel. I'm even gonna wait out. I'm gonna throw this right in. If it goes, it's a cameraman's fish. Fresh chocolate right now. Off to fish and off to eat. 